Good morning. As I so often do these days, I, I start with a mask, but it's just Ellen Goto and I this morning recording this, and uh, Ellen's about 35 feet away, so I will lose the mask so you can hear me. Um, we're preparing this uh, service for uh, July 31st, when I'll be out of town uh, serving another temple. And so if I may, uh, I will ask you to uh, bear with me as I go out and ring the calling bell. I will ring the con show, come back and ask you to chant Juse Gay with me, and then I will uh, we'll sing Hotoke Samo, or Nono Samo, and uh, read the golden chain. I will then give a uh, Dharma message. Uh, thank you for your uh, watching this service. And again, I will be with you again as soon as I finish uh, ringing the calling bell uh, outside. Namo Amitabutsu. Namo Amitabutsu. Namo Amitabutsu. Namo Amitabutsu. Now, as I said, I'm going to ask you to join me in the chanting of the Juice Gay. Uh, Alan will put that up on the screen for you. And if you uh, are working off the uh, Orange County book that we use, the Jodish and Juice Ten we get from Orange County, it's on page 39. Namunabutsu, 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 Namunabutsu. Busatsu, Damurio, Jukyo, Jusege, Gagon Cho, Tegan, Hishimu, Jodo, Shigan, Hu, Mandoku, Tehudyo, Shogak, Gao, Murio, Ko, Fuindai Theishu, Fusai Sho Bingu, Theifujo Shogaku, Gashi Jo Butundo, Myosho Cho Jipo, Kukyo Mi Shomon, Theifujo Shogaku, Ryoku Jin Shonen, Joe Shu Bongyo, Shigumu Jodo, Isho tenin shi jinnariki en daiko Husho mu taido shojo san kumyo Kothai shu yakunan Kai hi chi egen Meshi kon mo an He sokusho akudo Tu datnen shu mon Kosojo mandoku Ioro jippo, nichigaten shu juki, tenko on hugen, ishu kai hodo, kose ku doku ho, nyo dai shu chu, seppo shi shiku, ku yo ithaya button, 
Gusokushu toku hon gan neisht nyo man toku i thon gai o nyo buten mu gechi tu daten mi husho gan ga ku eriki toshi sai shoson shi gan ya koka daisen no kando koku sho ten ninna Tochin mioke Namandabu, 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 Shikudoku. Yo do say yes I do bo da shin o jo a koku namanda burmanda namanda 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 burmanda namita butsu namanda butsu namanda butsu I will ask you to join me in the Gata Hotoke Sama, uh, which is, uh, again, Alan's putting on the screen for you. If you're using the Orange County book, it's page 116, Hotoke Sama. <clears throat> I'll just do the first two verses, <laughs> skipping the third, if I may. Hotoke Sama. No, 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 Sama, Hotoke Sama. Watashi no suki na kaha sama no omune no yohoni yan wari to dakarete mitai hotoke sama no 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 sama hotoke sama watashi no suki na to sama no O te te no yohoni shikari to tsugate mitai hotoke sama. Namo mita butsu, namo da butsu, namo mita butsu, namo da butsu, namo mita butsu, namo da butsu. And I'll ask you to join me in the uh, devotional reading, uh, The Golden Chain. And I'm going to have to look this up myself. Golden Chain is on page 8 in the OCBC Satan. Alan should have it on the screen for you. If you would join me in reading The Golden Chain. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. May I be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. May I think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amita's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Da Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Da Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Da Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Da Butsu. Well, again, good morning, and thank you for. Uh, tuning in, this may be broadcast at the temple on the 31st. It'll definitely be on YouTube and on our temple uh, website. And whichever way you are participating with us, thank you for your participation. Um, again, you're, we're recording here on uh, the 19th of May for July 31st of 2022 when I will be in San Diego. Besides being the resident minister of the Pasadena Buddhist Temple, I have supervisory ministerial responsibilities to the Buddhist Temple of San Diego and to the Arizona Buddhist Temple. They do not ask too much of me, they do not, which is because they have uh, well-trained ministers' assistants at both of those temples. I am 73 years old and technically speaking I am working three jobs to support my family at the age of 73. That sounds bad but it's really good. It's good for me, it's good for my family. Some kinds of work you want to be over and done with that by a certain age, you know, uh, uh, ditch digging, logging, fighting fires. Others like the ministry or the fine arts you want to continue as, as long as you have something to give, as long as you have something to say. And of course, if you allow us to repeat ourselves, ministers always have something to say. 
The true art of ministry is saying the same thing over and over while using different words and phrases, varying imagery, a large range of metaphors, new and exemplary anecdotes. Uh, that's the ideal. <laughs> saying pretty much the same set of things, but saying them differently. At the temple I served in Portland about 10 years ago, nine or 10 years ago, one of the minister's assistant's husbands complained that it's the same thing every week. I did not respond to that remark at the time, but I was tempted to say, I hope so. <laughs> I hope it's the same vision of being swept up by the Buddha's compassion every week. I hope it's the same Nimbutsu path being opened out every week. Now, it does please me when I, when I can use different words and phrases to say the same things or different models of thought. Now, these days, we're hearing about the concept of there being perhaps a multiverse, a, new, a kind of a new model of thought for many people. We encounter the concept of the multiverse, multiple universes, in many places, in the writings of physicists who popularize their work, like Michio Kaku and uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. We hear about the multiverse in films, <laughs> in comic books, in Buddhist sutras. Now, there are various ideas here, not one single notion of the multiverse. The Buddhist notion of multiple universes is not that they are all copies of one another. Um, some certainly could be nearly qualitatively identical to others, could be, but that's not our idea. There's just a lot of worlds, a lot of planets, a lot of realms, according to Mahayana Buddhism. Now, Neil deGrasse Tyson says that there's not just a multiverse, that there are many multiverses, one stacked on top of the other. Now, I, you know, I don't even know if that's a coherent idea because multiverse means multiple universes. So if you had multiple verses, universes stacked on top of each other, how is that different from there being multiple universes? <laughs> I don't see how multiverses stacked on top of each other is different from saying there's a multiverse. But Neil's probably got something he's working on that I don't understand. Now, according to the Marvel Comics version of multiple universes, you exist in all of them. In fiction, it seems to be the basic fact about multiverses is that there's a version of you and I in, in each of them. Unless you're America Chavez, and they'll explain that later, I guess. I don't understand that either. But this idea does not exist in Mahayana Buddhism. Uh, there, are not, there are innumerable, innumerably many worlds, realms, and dimensions, according to the Buddha Dharma. Uh, but we don't say that they're all, that we're in all of them, in, as we are here. If there are enough worlds, and uh, there are many, many realms, if there are enough, there will be one or more with someone almost qualitatively identical to me. It ain't me. There's a concept uh, in Japanese culture, in Japanese Buddhist culture, which contradicts the idea that you and I are living many different lives right now all over the universe, all over the multiverse. And that concept is Ichigo Ichie. With each meeting, is unique. One, one moment, one meeting. Uh, one moment is, each moment is unique and unrepeatable. Uh, you can't repeat us in, in a different universe. It wouldn't be us, it'd be somebody else. Is there a guy in some world a lot like me, I mean a lot like me, who married his high school girlfriend? Well, it's not me. <laughs> it's just some guy, qualitatively, similar to me. Is there some guy on some other planet a lot like me, except he became a journalist, like I originally planned to do? Well, maybe. If so, he's not me. This is me, and the only me, the one right here. Alan and I are recording this for July 31st, but we're, we are recording on May 19th. July 31st will come around. Will Alan and I still be here? Well, probably, <laughs> but we really don't know. Ichigo Ichie. We have this moment, this unique moment. We are living this day, this unique day. July 31st, will we still be here? Alive and well, alive, alive, oh. We don't really know. Ichigo Ichie, this moment is what we have. 
this life is what we have, not a similar life in a different world in the multiverse. It's interesting that many physicists agree with the Buddhist assumption that there are many worlds and that many of them include life. Now, Neil deGrasse Tyson's idea, again, that one multiverse is stacked upon another seems a bit odd to me, but because how does it differ from just saying there's a multiverse? But in any case, recognizing that the universe is vast is important. And the assumption that there's intelligent life out there, many, many places, is important. I don't care so much that there are guys very similar to me living in other parts of the multiverse. Very similar. But what if there's a planet with a guy very similar to Elijah McLean? And a guy a lot like me. A guy a lot like me could walk home with him. And when some police and emergency techs are intending to harass him, maybe the fact that I'm white and I'm old, they'll leave him alone. You know? So maybe it's a good thing that there are people a lot like us in other parts of the universe, because there's things we would have liked to have done. I would have liked to have been there for Tyree Smith and for Elijah McLean and for so many people who have suffered unnecessarily. The universe being so vast does open up some intriguing possibilities. John Lennon was murdered on Bodhi Day, December 8th in 1980. There's nothing we can do about that. But what if there's a brilliant popular artist on another planet and you could disarm him, you could disarm the predator before he murders that visionary? Well, that would be a good thing. <laughs> we might have a number of thoughts like this about what the multiverse might be, what we might be able to do. In an alternative world, in an alternative version of Robert Kennedy, we could walk him safely through the alternative version of the Ambassador Hotel. The possibility is that the vastness of the universe opens up. The, the, the possibilities that this multiverse opens up are multiple and quite intriguing, I think, to think about. But we must live lives in this moment. About 50 years ago, the, uh, a folk rock group called The Incredible String Band did a song called This Moment. And uh, this talk today is titled from their, their, a line from their song, This Moment is Different from Any Before It. So that's the title of the talk here. <laughs> the line from The Incredible String Band song is, This moment is different from any before it. This moment is different. It's now. <laughs> The intent of those lines is the same as the uh, thrust of the Japanese Buddhist cultural idiom, Ichigo Ichie. The moment will not repeat. This meeting won't happen again. The Doctor Strange movie and Neil deGrasse Tyson notwithstanding, there are not you and I all over the universe. Those are just people that resemble us if they're there. You and I are here. There may be folks who resemble us closely on other planets, in other realms, but they're not us. We're in this moment here. Those different people, good luck to them. <laughs> We're on planet Earth now. We don't need to attach to this moment as it will pass away, only to be followed by the next moment, the new moment. The moment is always new. When we realize that, it feels fresh. As long as you realize that it ends and is followed by the next moment, the Buddha Dharma does encourage you and I to live in the moment. Now again, Mahayana Buddhism tells us that there are multiple worlds, numberless realms. We invented the concept of the multiverse, Buddhists did. Mahayana Buddhism, all streams of Buddhism, all streams of Buddhist living, encourage us to live in the moment. But it's not either or, it's both and. Recognizing the vast world within which we live, also we may recognize the importance of living in this moment, now. This is a message I wanted to share with you here as we record a service to be uh, observed and participated in on July 31st. 
I hope that it's good there in the future, in July 31st. I hope everything's going well for you. I will close the uh, service with gasho and a uh, posture of respect and saying the Buddha's name a few times. Those who would like to, please join me. We rely upon the source of limitless wisdom and endless life. Namo Amitabhutsu, Namo Amitabhutsu, Namo Amitabhutsu, Namo Amitabhutsu, Namo Amitabhutsu, Namo Amitabhutsu, Namo Amitabhutsu. Thank you.